let's talk about this Legend of Zelda expansion pass, Dom. A what? A season pass? For a Nintendo game? The world is falling. The sky is falling. Well, I mean, I'm not at that level of freaking out as some people seem to be. And those people are going to buy the game anyway, but um, in any effect, this isn't, you know, a $50 Battlefield 1 season pass. Like, not in, you know, uh, in volume of content or in cost. This is, <clears throat> I guess we might as well just lay it out. This is a $20 season pass that includes two expansions. Cannot buy them separately. You have to pay for the $20 pack. Which is the weird thing. Uh, why why call very it a season weird. pass? Like, or it's like, I'll very call it expansion pass, but yeah, it's, it's weird to me. That, yeah. it, and part of it is a good strategy because uh, it forces you to, you know, come back to that game. Yep. Because you already bought it, so you, you know... You have some monetary incentives to jump back into that game months, months later, um, and it gives them time to actually build the DLC, right? Uh, so the first DLC pack adds a hard mode, which I'm personally really excited for. That's probably how I'll play the game. And uh, yeah, I'll go on record saying I'm at, at, of course, I'm going to buy this season pass. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish I didn't have to, but I do, <laughs> if that makes sense. So the first expansion adds a hard mode. And a Cave of Trials, which that piece of it I probably won't delve into too much. Um, but that first that first expansion, though, it just seems light. It just seems that should have been a part of the game at launch, absolutely, like, without a doubt. It's, and then the second piece, which isn't supposed to come until later this year, I believe, includes a new dungeon and a new story. So, like, actual DLC, right? To me, that sounds like, especially given, you know, how big... Zelda dungeons usually are. That sounds like something that, you know, deserves to be an expansion. And I can be down with that uh, <clears throat> and paying extra for that. But the first expansion, as much as I want that hard mode, that shouldn't be an expansion pass that's monetized to me. But, of course, I'm still going to buy it. They know that. And so it makes sense. So I have three major issues with this. The first issue being that you can't buy them separately, and you're calling it an expansion pass, which is weird. Yeah. Like, if you just said, this is the DLC, there's two versions, of, there's one part of it coming out in the second part. The fact that they're calling it a pass, and it's two pieces of DLC, but you can't buy them separately, then it isn't two pieces. It's one piece right. that's that's released at one time, and the other released at the other. It's, I don't like that. Price point, fine. My second problem, a game should never have a difficulty setting as a DLC. Ever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that is awful management. That is not something that should be DLC ever in a game. You should never have people have to buy difficulty modes for your game. I think that's awful. Uh, and thirdly, I think the fact that with this, uh, the other thing we forgot to mention is that when you buy this, you get a, a shirt for Link that has a Switch logo on it, which is really weird to me. I could see if this was a game where it had heavy multiplayer, like a multiplayer mode or something where cosmetic items were a part of it. It's like, oh, I have this unique cosmetic item. It's a Legend of Zelda game that breaks RP to me, roleplay. Like, there's no reason Link would be wearing a Nintendo Switch shirt. It makes yeah. no sense to Nonsense. me. Nonsense. It doesn't make sense to me at all. It's a really weird, it's a really weird, like, wink wink kind of thing to do. There's something else they could have totally done where it doesn't need to be so overt and like you get a Switch logo shirt. Who cares? Why wouldn't why don't you give me a a different outfit? What if it was like an outfit from one of the other games? You know, like an Ocarina, uh, Ocarina of Time outfit or like uh Wind Waker or something or a nod to some game instead of it being a logo of your new console. That's really weird to me. Yeah, no, I'm not against the idea of, you know, a season pass or an expansion pass rather for a Zelda game at all. But this, they could have done so much better. Um, like, let's look back at Fallout 4. Um, their season pass, they actually ended up increasing the price of it from 30 to $50 after the game released, um, which you'd think is a huge blunder. But <clears throat> even at $50, I think it was worth it because it's done so much better than than this is, right? Like, where it pretty much extends the game almost by double in playtime um, and new content. And it even added completely new... Uh, gameplay functions in the game right like yep. the vault building and the the robot building like completely new mechanics that yeah maybe they had already had those built during development and they could have re released it a part of the original game but the original game was so big in itself already that you know it's easy to justify having that as a dlc so that to me is the example they should have looked at when they were figuring out what to do with their season pass and because what they came up with although it's cheap 
It's just kind of... Uh, well, the thing is... Off-putting. is Bethesda is a company who's done DLC and done DLC well. People love the Fallout right. New Vegas DLC. Uh, Fallout 3's DLC is some of the best ever made. They know how to handle DLC. Uh, Nintendo's never really done this. The thing, too, that really irks me and is a total businessy move, the reason they're packaged together and they're not sold separately is because they know people will not buy the Cave of Trials and Hard Mode DLC. Some people will buy it, but not the yeah. majority of people that are going to buy that second piece, which is the actual interesting part of this, which is the new dungeon and new original story. That's why people are going to buy this. That's why people will spend any money on this is for that second part. And I think they know that, and that's why they're bundled together and you cannot buy them separately because they have to include those both to justify the price, and they know that people won't buy the difficulty mode because there's tons of people who play games that are like, I'm not going to buy DLC that gives me a difficulty mode. That's You're making me buy for the game that should already been in the game. And I think that's a huge reason why you cannot buy these individually. And it's sad because the second part of this DLC seems awesome. Like a new original story, yeah. extra Legend of Zelda, for a game that already seems like it's going to have a lot of hours dumped into it to complete, great. Adding in a difficulty mode and this weird like Cave of Trials throwing thing that seems like a mini game. Um, I'm not familiar with it. They say it's like Twilight Princess. I'm not familiar with it. But uh, it's weird. The Switch logo t-shirt I think is 100% how do we justify them pre-ordering it or buying it as soon as possible. What else can we throw in for a quote unquote value? And they think that people are interested in a Switch logo shirt. Maybe a couple of people are. But you're telling me, Dom, if, you said, if I told you you could either have... You get one of these for sure. You can either get a Switch logo outfit for uh, for Link, or you get a a, a Link the fire out- tunic, yeah, so that you can go into the volcano. Yeah, there you go. Which one would you rather have? I mean, it's just it completely, like you said, it breaks the immersion in that world. Like, why would you ever put that on your character? It just doesn't make sense. It's not Mario Kart or something where it's you know it's already so ungrounded and there's things from different games and genre or different ips but that that's where something like this kind of makes sense but not in this that'd be like I just that'd be like getting a piece of armor in dark souls 3 and obviously it's not an exclusive that'd be like getting a piece of armor that has it says like playstation 4 pro on it you know and you can yeah. wear that armor in the game it doesn't make sense it's really weird and like i said if this was like uh uh, the Division or Ghost Recon Wildlands or these games or even like For Honor which would still kind of be weird RP because it's not current day but like these games where like you can have cosmetics and it makes sense even like a Splatoon makes more sense than this it's weird that you put this in Legend of Zelda you know you don't think of Legend of, you don't think of Legend of Zelda you think of Link wearing <laughs> like a Nintendo shirt <laughs> makes absolutely no sense I don't understand it yeah but I think for me, I think the most exciting thing is the new original story. We talked about this a little bit. I think that's probably what you're super excited for. I know, I know yeah, you'll absolutely. enjoy most of it, but like, that's the most exciting thing. Is like, it's funny because this seems like to be the longest and most expansive Legend of Zelda, and it's the first one to get DLC. You know, you think about all the other ones where the, Zeldas o- are are always meaty, but you always want more. And this one seems to be the biggest one and the most time consuming. And this is the one that's getting DLC, which is pretty funny. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I think this is weird. I don't think this is like overtly bad, but I do think this is, oh yeah, this is Nintendo's first foray into this kind of thing. It's obvious as we just mentioned yeah. the weirdness in this. So hopefully they learn from it. Um, like we, like we said with even the mobile games, uh, it's something new for Nintendo and it's interesting that they're even trying it because old Nintendo would never do these kind of things. Right. Cause they, they did it with the, the last Mario Kart and the last Super Smash Bros. And people seem to like how they did it there. I'm not too familiar, but... But those weren't season weird. passes, though, I don't think. They were DLC. Right, 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 This right. is their first foray into buy this up front and we'll give you all this stuff to come. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm interested to see where this goes. There's... I mean, it makes you think about what their options are for season passes in the future, like you said, with the Mario Kart, stuff like that. A lot of people didn't... A lot of people enjoyed all the content for Smash, but they didn't like the had to pay, 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 pay. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have been down with buying a season pass. You get all the characters that come out, right? But then that goes to the problem of Nintendo saying that, okay, for this price, you're getting absolutely you're getting eight characters, meaning that that there's there's not as much surprise there either. And I think a big thing with Nintendo and with Smash especially or with Kart, their directs are huge because they're announcements you don't know about. So it kind of goes against what Nintendo stands for, right? Where you already know what's down the pipeline, so a lot of announcements aren't that huge anymore. So it's going to be interesting how they kind of. Um, meet in the middle on that so but I think you're down to get this I think a lot of people are going to buy this for the second part of the DLC not the first part um, 
I would be interested to see how many people actually end up even using the Switch logo t-shirt um, outside of just popping it on to see how weird it looks and then taking it off and never using it again. If so. there was ever a metric we were we will never see, it's that. Yeah, it's it's that. Um, even if Nintendo does have that recorded somehow, we will never know. And Nintendo is not very good at dropping prices on games. Uh, for some right. reason, they're not very good at that. So I'm going to be interested to see this holiday when it's, I think, the biggest, most important push for the Switch, not the release. It's going to be this holiday. I want to see what this price for the stands where do you get this bundled in at that point is it like the game of the year edition of legend of zelda breath of the wild is it 60 dollars? is it 70 is it 80 like what are they going to do with that you know is it right. always just going to be on its own is it never going to be packaged in with the retail copy uh as, you know as in like it comes with this and then you use the download code uh i'm going to be interested to see how that all plays out so i imagine that they have a probably a mario kart bundle this holiday i don't think they'll do a bundle with zelda or mario odyssey um because they're not going to give up that profit, right? Because anyone who buys this, which is pretty much going to buy those games no matter what. Yeah, I agree um, with you there, yeah. Especially Mario. I, which is insane right. that Mario was a pack-in for Nintendo 64, which is crazy. Yeah. So I, I'm going to be interested to see how this plays out. Like I said, it's not. it could have been way worse. And for a company making their first stride into this, I think this was an interesting and admirable attempt they still need to tweak it a bit because there were some weird things with it but uh as long as they learn from it i'm willing to hear them out on this if they continue this and get really weird and doesn't make sense then i'm going to be kind of hesitant towards this but i'm gonna, i'm willing to give nintendo the benefit of the doubt as many people have over the course of the last two console releases so we'll see how it goes um any closing words on this tom i think we covered most of it you're getting it but you're not 100 yeah. percent happy about it <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>